On tonight's Breaking Bond, a 56-year-old career criminal is free from jail on a PR or personal recognizance bond after allegedly stealing a catalytic converter. Fox 26's Randy Wallace joining us live with the latest in his ongoing series. Randy. Yeah, Rashi, one of Robert James Williams' bond conditions is one of the strangest I've ever seen. He's not allowed to have a chainsaw outside of his home, and for good reason. Catalytic converter thefts were once rampant in Harris County. I mean, it was nonstop. You had a task force that was developed to handle catalytic converter thefts. In March of last year, Harris County Sheriff's Deputy Darren Almanderas was shot and killed by three catalytic converter thieves. Last June, Governor Abbott signed the Deputy Almanderas Act into law to crack down on catalytic converter thefts. We have the strictest, toughest law when it comes to theft of catalytic converters. But a magistrate freed alleged catalytic converter thief Robert James Williams from jail with a PR bond or a get out of jail free card. That is irresponsible and unacceptable. It's unfortunate that he was able to get this bond. The 56 year old Williams criminal history is extensive to say the least. How do you justify giving a career habitual offender with 14 prior felony convictions a PR bond. From what I understand, this person was caught red-handed, caught with the, the saw that was still hot. With a PR bond, Williams was back out on the streets in no time. There's no collateral. There's no family members that sign for him. So more than likely, he's going to abscond and not go to court. He's going to fail to appear, basically. This person has made a career out of breaking the law and to, to be just let go on a bond, it, uh, it's very disturbing as someone that's worked on this bill for quite some time. One of Williams' bond conditions is an unusual one. He's not allowed to have a chainsaw. I've never seen that. I mean, I guess that's like, uh, if you're an aggravated robbery suspect, uh, don't have a gun. But if you see this dude with a chainsaw, he's in violation of his bond condition. Mm -hmm. Williams' next court appearance is in December. We'll let you know if he picks up any new criminal charges or becomes a fugitive. Randy Wallace, Fox 26 News. Randy, thank you.